welcome back to the Romanian River channel and my playthrough of Europa Barbarorum 2. Let's see if we can manage to get these guys under control before anything too nasty happens. Okay, so you're a problem to morale, let's see. Yeah, that brought them even closer to... to to destroy the settlement. <laughs> That's good. And let's head up here and see what we can do about these assholes. Arseholes, pardon. Suspicious start. That's not, but whatever. Let's get these guys under control first. And then we'll swing by and pick up our troops. As many as we can without causing civil unrest again. <sighs> it's gonna be a speedy run with yes we found the Skiffian settlement actually to have any chance of um, keeping control of the settlement with that guy we'd need to have a democratic state. Fuck. Which means we'll have to swift over, switch over. Swift over. Hmm. Oh well. Nothing lost, really. The Skiffians aren't really dangerous to anybody, but um, the, <laughs> the big fuck-off distances of their territories means Controlling them is kind of an interesting proposition. It is Russia, after all. <laughs> okay, so Albia will also be a democratic state. Looks like I'm going to be more generous with them. Well, I won't be so generous with Klepidava, but yeah. We'll recruit another one of those um, riders or swordsmen or whatever, just to uh, have the option. And we'll see about actually recruiting one up north too. We'll see what we'll do. Not. 
the profits are a bit deceiving. They're about 1600. Nice. Macris per Argetava. Arget, yeah, Argetava. Let's check that. Yeah. About the age you'd expect at that particular period. These two are seeming to have issues having kids. I'm actually tempted to make this guy the... No, this guy is also, but... Hmm, they're about equal. Depends how these two come out. And Macris is a girl. How in the hell am I even supposed to tell that? These guys, trade rights. Don't be so annoying because we are going to be <laughs> pissed off. Being allied with them keeps us nominally safe from a northward attack. Once we take Skippy, I guess we're gonna be calling it Skippy. We should be set in this sector of the map. Then we'll look to take a couple of settlements. West, well, southwest. Maybe even see about expanding into Sicily. If all goes well in both Klepidava and Olbia, we'll sweep downwards with the ruler and his heir. Hmm. Well, should I sweep down with both? I'll have to consider it. 
because the age of the ruler is quite old and see about heading or up to take Skippy and once we've taken Skippy we can just consolidate everything build roads build infrastructure and about 20 turns after that point which just for reference is about 10 turns at best from this point we'll look towards expanding westward I'd really like some Illyrian shock troops though those boyoi will be a pain in the ass to deal with on the battlefield we'll probably have to chain route them we're all reasonable we are very reasonable people, yes? You piss me off, you wake up next to Horsehead, yes, comrade? Now, where was that? Here. Head off the boyoi. I don't think I did any tre treaties with them, so may as well. Once this is completed, we'll build a troop of... What should we do? Riders or bodyguards? I think I'll go with bodyguards or royal riders. We'll see, we'll probably get the cavalry because we need cavalry more than anything else. Then we'll swing with these guys south, go up until here, the point where the royal rider can just possibly head all the way on his own. Because yes, we do not trust democratically elected individuals that much so history will have its own leader or they will have its own leader and everybody will be happy happy joy joy For the expansion this will be the first because the north one if i remember correctly had a bit more in terms of stuff to deal with plus i'm really curious to see if i can get Thracian peltas and yes these guys will not hold up much if at all really 10 sounds bad but meh this is more these guys are more dangerous which will, means these guys will get hit by cavalry. This guy, I'm not too... He has a pet idiot. Actually, let's check what... Yeah. So... We have to deal with oxen, which is a euphemism because in Romanian, boy means castrated bull, more or less. I'm gonna leave the taxation up up until we can trigger this, so this can be more happy. Both Olbi and Klepidava probably require the next level as well of um, assimilation, but yeah, to be expected really. Once we take Skippy, we'll head south take care of our little barbarian problem once and fucking for all and he's the first one. Oh, I hope you guys aren't getting friendly with me that's the last fucking thing I need I'll take care of the weakened army the second army will postpone up until we have retrained most of our troops the Dacian ones and see what else we can do 
These guys need to be eliminated though once and for all. Considering we started off only with Buridava, I'd say we're pretty well off at the current time. I actually believe this probably is the extent of uh, Decibel's um, Dacia back before the Roman conquest. Decibel being the last uh, Dacian king in written record. There probably was another Dacian ruler or chieftain in the free part of Dacia which was in the Moldavian area if I'm not mistaken more or less. The Romans held control over Dobrogea, parts of Valachia and the parts that really interested them, the areas around Sarmisegetuza and Buridava. Why they, interest, why they were so interested in those parts? Gold, iron, e. I think those are actually the real reasons they invaded in the first place. These two are. There we go. And then we'll do this, this, that more. If we can get both, we'll get both. Because ideally speaking, we'd want them. A severe hit to my infrastructure in terms of projected 600. Hopefully, we don't take too much of a hit with that. These will take six seasons to implement, so. It'll take a while until we can move on Skippy. It was worth a try. So let's try and speed through as many of these six turns that we'll have to pass before we move. I think something's happening in Starmi Sechetuza and Buridava. Births, deaths, something like that. Anyway. I 
actually with um, Olby, I think we should build the roads first just to increase access to that area for very, very obvious reasons. After the client democratic state stuff. probably take the riders with us if we can actually recruit both types and um, use the hoplites as governors for history of course that'll be in six turns but yeah unless the riders no i don't think the riders can actually go to history that fast and the riders are step warriors so i don't doubt history will like them that much Rather surprised history was such a big settlement compared to Thomas and uh, Calatus. But oh well. slower not that anybody really notices let's get rid of these guys and anybody else we can get rid of the difference let's just increase the profits because we are gonna take a lot of Except us that His Majesty is a competent ruler. we need roads for obvious reasons 
Roads, walls. Yeah, looks good. probably gonna have another um, turn ended this time and the rest will be next time of the four or five left I'm gonna have to select a new because this guy just doesn't really inspire much. Mistrusted. Let's try not to cause a civil fucking war, though. How far can you move? Whoa.
but we are at 30 minutes so we're gonna have to leave it here now gents thank you for watching and until next time buff the